to make your old games look nicer, make sure you have 16x anisotropic filtering enabled. What that will do is sharpen the textures going into distance when looking at an angle. The game might have an option built in to do that. If it doesn't, you can go to your driver and force 16x anisotropic filtering. We have some examples here on the screen in Half-Life 2 and also Serious Sam. Secondly, we can use what is called centered scaling to illustrate what's going on. Look at this image here. We have an X with 3x3 three three pixels on a 3x3 three three pixel monitor. It's nice and clear. But if we're trying to display this on a 5x5 five five pixel monitor, uh, we have an issue with scaling. The pixels don't fit evenly. What you can do is go into your video card driver, turn on GPU scaling and centered scaling, and then the games will look nice, sharp and clear. You will lose some vertical space at the top of, uh, and the bottom, but uh, as a trade-off you get a really nice and sharp image. I've got some photos here on a 1080p monitor. Uh, you want to play games at 1280 by 1024 and if you've got a 1440p monitor you can play games at 1600 by 1200 and you're getting a really nice clear sharp picture. Even better than centered scaling is creating a custom 4x3 resolution but this does not work with every game. So what you need to do is you take your vertical resolution of your monitor, let's say we have a 1080p monitor, divided by three, multiplied by four, and we get our horizontal resolution, which is 1440 by 1080, and then you go into your graphics driver and create a custom resolution. Then you go into your game, select that custom resolution, and you now have uh, a sharp 4x3 aspect ratio image. Uh, we are using Far Cry here as an example, and it will use the entire vertical height of your monitor. AA or anti-aliasing is also a good way to make your old games look better. It goes after jaggies and shimmering lines when moving around. Now there are lots of different types of anti-aliasing. The one I recommend is called super sampling anti-aliasing and it works by rendering the image at a higher resolution and then uh, scaling it down. It is computational quite expensive but playing old games that run at several hundred FPS, there's plenty of performance to do that. And the way you enable it, you go into your driver and you override the anti-aliasing, set it to 4x and then the setting for super sampling anti-aliasing. And it is the nicest way of anti-aliasing. Everything will get cleaned up. Uh, even uh, lines in textures and transparent textures um, and it will make your old games look very very nice. And finally super sampling anti-aliasing is not compatible with all games. Try it first, it is the best option. If that fails with your game, for example here we have Dirt 3, doesn't work with super sampling anti-aliasing but works with what is called virtual super resolution offered by the graphics card and the graphics driver. What that does is it will virtually let you render the game at 4K and then downscale it to 1080p giving you the same super sampling anti-aliasing experience. There's one downside, everything will be rendered at a high res resolution and scaled down, even the user interface elements. So some of those elements might look a little bit softer but uh, on the, on, on the trade-off, uh, more games are compatible. For example, games like Dirt 3, but also uh, Dead Space, which is not compatible with other anti-aliasing technologies. And there you have it, guys. We had a look at five ways of making old games look a little bit nicer. And yeah, it's quite relevant. Hardware prices have gone up. PC gaming is not as affordable as it was. So why not use the hardware that you already have? buy some old games, they're discounted, they're fully patched, 
everything is documented and um, you can still have a good time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment and I shall see you soon with another one.